Warthog Princess and welcome to another Trying New Things video. Actually, I guess it's technically not new new because I have ordered things from the sack and sack roots in the past. I just don't have a lot of it. And this is a brand new pattern that I totally fell in love with because it's kind of those purples and teals and nautical and turtles and whatnot. So I did grab a few items from a recent sell, sale and here you go. So this first item is a sling. It's called Reprieve Fabrication, which is, it says, made with recycled plastic bottles. It's PETA approved vegan, art for a cause, created exclusively for us. Each of our unique artist prints supports a charity that shares our mission to make the world better. To learn more and donate, visit thesack.com slash give back. Yeah, so there you go. And it says, we match every dollar donated. Well, I didn't donate. I basically just bought stuff and that's my donation. But it's a beautiful bag. This is called the, the um, On The Go Sling Backpack in Royal Blue Seascape. It's a nice bag. It has this nice um, woven loop top, which you can hook things onto. It also has a loop right here to specifically hook and comes with this removable keychain bag charm, which is looped on there, sewn on. But it has several bits. It has this little wooden sack roots circle. It has three tassels in, looks like pink, teal, and navy blue. And then it has this metal, colorful turtle. It's, it's nice, nice robust piece of metal bag charm. So you can take that off and move it around to other things, use it as a keychain, put it on other bags. Yeah, lots of options there. But super cute and it definitely goes with the pattern. You can see in the pattern there's the turtles and you can see the purples and teals and blues. I just really like that. All right, I do love that it's um, made from recycled bottles, which means that basically it's a waterproof sort of plasticky thing. It has a feel like nylon. It sort of feels like a, a little bit slicker than Performance Twill on the Vera side, and it's a little bit more robust than the Lug nylon feel. So it's kind of a mix of those, but it's quite a nice sturdy feel to it. It has two diagonal zippers right here, and each of these pockets has its own features. They have a little bit of space unto themselves, but you know, if you pack them both thickly, then you know, it's not gonna work that great. But if you keep thin stuff in this outer pocket and then the second zipper is actually the main pouch. Inside this front pocket, you do have another secondary zipper, a small pocket across there. Plenty big for coins or keys or whatnot, but your phone won't fit in that interior pocket. It might fit in this larger outer, let's look. Here's my 6S Plus. And it does in fact fit in that outer pocket, no problem, even without having to angle it. But it's nice diagonal, so it's a very sort of streamlined look to it. And like I said, this is the main pouch. It does have a hooded top, so it'll hold more than you think. And there is one mesh pocket on the back wall for some internal organization. But look at the size of the base of it. It has a pretty good amount. It's an odd shape, but big on the bottom, small on the top. Like I said, pretty pretty streamlined configuration. There's one more pocket on the side, right down the back side wall. It's a flat pocket along the whole back of the bag, the whole triangle, which is padded, meshed, and quilted so that you get that airflow options coming in to keep you from sweating so much. With a bag like this, that would otherwise make you sweat because it wouldn't breathe that well. Anyway, um, so yeah, it has that. Now, this was the first of four pieces I got, and we'll leave it out for a second because... The next item I got is this one, and this one is called the Large Smartphone Crossbody. This is, again, the Eco Twill fabrication, and the pattern is Royal Blue Seascape. All four pieces are the same pattern, by the way. Um, so what this is, it's like a crossbody wallet wristlet convertible type option. So you have a removable wristlet strap that's like a faux leather thing. It comes off. And you have two loops here, so it does come with a crossbody strap, obviously removable, that you can use to make it crossbody or shoulder bag. And the back is set up, let me get this stuff out. So you've got mirror image, you've got big cash drawer on both sides, and then you have one, two, three, four, four card slots, four card slots, four card slots, four card slots, plus the zipper compartment in the middle. So quite a lot of space back here. My phone does in fact fit back there easily and can be zipped in with the wallet stuff. Or you also have this front 
loop cover and this is where because I have one of these already in an older pattern um, that I just put my phone it just slips right in there perfectly and is secured with the snap so quick access you get the phone right out it's great so that works really really well and you can use this for other things there are two snaps for adjustable sizing on there and it just snaps right on and again this is like a waterproof fabric so it's great 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 I love that for travel this is a really nice travel size wallet or an everyday grab and go bag in a bag type large wallet setup from sack roots so I got this thinking okay this also can fit very nicely right inside the main bag it can fit in this back pocket as well if that's where I choose to put it and gives me some options for sure so we'll still leave the bag out because the next item is a pouch because who doesn't love pouch I also kind of thought that this pattern would match really really nicely with the ocean blue lug stuff I've gotten recently and uh, we'll take a look at that but not today I don't have any of that here at the table but um, this is called the Sack Roots Essential Medium Pouch. Again, it's the Eco Twill Fabrication and the Royal Blue Seascape pattern. So you can see I've got really great pattern placement. I don't know if it varies from bag to bag to tell you the truth, but if it does vary, I got extremely lucky with that perfect turtle on both the front and the back in different positions. So really, really happy, really on all my pieces that I got those perfect turtles. Um, the bun on the back here is slightly cut off, but not really. So I'm really, really happy with it. This is just a basic pouch. It is a pretty good size. It's a the triangular type shape to it. So wider on the bottom, narrower on the top. And the inside, it does have one privacy zipper pocket and two slips on the front. They do have an elastic top edge. I know it's black, you can't really see it there, but there's your two slips on the side. Um, yeah, so just a nice big opening. It feels like a canvas type interior, so it's not plasticized or you know set up for makeup per se, but I think it's a great organizational pouch. I would have loved, there is a larger version of this. I would have loved also to see a smaller version of this, like maybe half the size or even two thirds, because this is a little bit large for this bag, although, totally fully fits in there and I can use that and the wallet both with it and I think I would use all those pieces together for sure. Um, but anyway, the last piece I got, this is the Palo Alto Packable Tote. Again, it's the Eco Twill and the Royal Blue Seascape. And again, this is a packable tote, so it's all zipped into its packable form. Really good size, very portable. On that side, you don't see any of the turtles. On the other side, I do have a good turtle, so happy with that. But you unzip that, and this becomes the base of the bag. The rest of it just folds up from there. Nice, robust material. It definitely feels waterproof, and pretty, pretty durable, pretty sturdy. Yeah, I would compare it to, um, it feels a little bit thicker and a little bit more plasticky than the um, Lug Ego Shoppers, but definitely in the same category for sure. And Vera does have a packable tote, very similar in size, shape, and configuration to this, just a different material on the Vera one. But yeah, so it's a basic tote, and there you go. And this, again, is absolutely perfect for cruising because I could just carry it with me in my packed suitcase, and then when I'm bopping around the ship, I have a lightweight bag to just carry around stuff in um, to go excursions or just around the ship, honestly, anywhere. Um, now, I haven't tried to put this away yet, so let's just try and fold it back down. It looks like pretty easy. Just follow the fold lines. Tuck the straps in, fold the side over, side over, fold it in half and zip it up. Very, very simple to convert it back to travel form. Nice robust zipper. And there you go, perfect. Packable tote in beautiful, beautiful marine colors and pictures. So yay! All right, so that is Sack Roots and that's the end of today's videos. Bye for now.